to start a company is to stage a revolution. A revolution starts as an idea in the hearts of a man, maybe a few. It's not much more than a feeling of subjugation. You feel as if the way it is is not the way that it has to be. You feel as if you have the power to change the world and to change the status quo. So that man or that man, that man or that woman goes out and finds others with the same passion as they have. They say, I have this idea. These warlords, these tyrants, these kings, they're oppressing me. They're being inefficient and they're wasting our money and they're taking everything for themselves. And we, as a group, can do this together. We can change the way that the world currently works. But it's gonna be difficult. They bind together, these small group, this small army, and they start planning, and they start trying to find their little tiny crack, the crack that's in the current organization, where they can sneak in and cause a cataclysm. That they can sneak in and change the entire world. And they know it's gonna be hard, and they kiss their wives, and they kiss their children, and they say, I'm sorry, but if I'm gonna give you the life that you deserve, if your children are gonna have the life that they deserve, then I'm gonna have to make this sacrifice. I'm gonna have to take this risk, and I'm gonna have to go out into the world and try to make the change that I wanna see. These men and these women, they go out and they start trudging along. They're gonna fight in the trenches. And their one hope, their one aspiration, is that they're going to be seen to be so small that the big, massive tyrant is gonna ignore them for the time being. They're gonna be stealthy. They're gonna fight along and hide in the darkness. They're gonna build their own technology and acquire their weapons. They're not gonna have the money or the food to support themselves the way that they know they should, but they're going to make that sacrifice. They're going to attempt to build something from the ground up. And they may be successful, but the problem is, is that along the way, they are going to lose people. Their infantryman may drop his gun. And maybe that infantryman is the best with a gun, and all he has is a knife. But these men, these men are well trained. These men will be able to take that knife, and even if they don't have their gun, they don't have the one that they're comfortable with, they're agile, and they will make it work. There will be times when they'll feel so emotionless, so downtrodden, they will be pushed down to the ground, and the only thing that will save them is courage. That isn't to say that it is not, uh, that it isn't to say that there's an absence of fear. They will be afraid. But knowing that there is a future ahead of them, knowing that they can change the world, they'll have to rise themselves up. They'll have to bind together. They'll have to have their family, who is their infantrymen, make that change. These men, they don't have a good chance. They likely will die. Their wives and their children may forget about them. They won't get to see them as much as they would love to, and they're gonna be experiencing constant emotional turmoil. But the risk is worth the reward. They imagine at night, I can do this. And they're going to hype themselves up and their leader is going to say, guys, we're almost there. We're almost gonna get there. But the unfortunate truth about any, any revolution is that no matter how passionate your soldiers are, you can still be crushed. The kings have coffers and war chests that far outsize your own. And they will, when you have that traction, they will crush you if they have the chance. And so to be an entrepreneur is to have audacity and to have your team follow you even though they know that the chances are slim. And if you could only be so powerful and lucky, the timing is right, the landscape is good, you may be able to overthrow the tyrant. You may, you may be able to create democracy. The kings may fall, and they may not know what happened. And so to be an entrepreneur, it is to take that risk. It is to know that everything you want, everything you hope, and everything you dream of, even in the perfect situation, may fail, but it's worth it in the end because you believe in the future that you seek. Thank you.